You and me both really need to put the jokes aside when it comes down to stuff like this, man, because that is such a disgrace that people paying over $2,000 because do keep in mind, nobody is getting an RTX 5090 for MSRP or in other words, the $2,000 that they are actually supposed to be. So when a 5090 catches on fire, man, that that's like a big, 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 big problem. And I know that everybody is going to say, oh, well, it's just common sense. But people joke about it. Like people are actually like joking about stuff like that and it's just it's something that people really need to be taking seriously and it's just it's really sad to see that nvidia just does not care about stuff like that however there is some really cool stuff to go over today so let's hop right into it the first thing that we're going to be going over is intel's new graphics driver letting you dedicate up to 87 percent of your ram for the igpu as vram i think that this is extremely cool this is something that i I honestly was not expecting Intel to actually do this. AMD does have this option with their, bear with me as I attempt to pronounce this, AMD Ryzen AI 395 Max Plus. I know, I'm just, I'm like, I'm really just want to like slap myself in the face with that name as well. But just such a random name. However, this I'm pretty sure that this is only going to be for laptops right now. I don't think that this is going to be for people that have a actual CPU in their computer. But that will eventually end up coming, I'm guessing, at some point here. However, this is really main mained. This is really aimed at AI and that sort of stuff because AI and all of the AI applications use a lot of VRAM. However, dude, I know people hate on AI and I, I get it, dude, but like at the same time, if games are like more fun and games are more enjoyable with AI enhancing the games and I'm not talking about upscaling I really don't care about that kind of stuff bro I mean I still play Super Nintendo games I genuinely do not care about the actual well I do care about the resolution let's be real here however I it, like I'm talking about like actual features like I'm talking about NPCs in the world just randomly giving you a random quest by like scraping the entire game and then like giving a quest based off of the actual game and just like adding the replayability like random levels kind of like a uh the dungeon crawler games there I, i'm having a brain fart moment again as as per norm um the yeah i forget the the name of those but what the the ones with, like metroid is an example i i don't uh man i got joe biden mouth right now Go ahead and let me know what that game is called down or that style of game is called. I really got Joe Biden mouth right now. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking about what I'm trying to remember because I can't speak properly. This right here, dude, this is just a, it really is like jokes aside, man, like you and me both have to like I've joked about this, dude. And it's like. But I just I don't I can't. I can't believe that there's not a. Well, actually, I do. I do actually know. I know why. I know why we're not doing this because Nvidia is like literally a multi-trillion-dollar freaking company, and if they do a man, I really I'm have two brain farts in a row. If they have recall, man, I didn't have two brain farts in a row for too long. If they do a recall on that kind of stuff, they're gonna lose millions and million billions. Let's be real, billions and billions of dollars on the RTX 5090s because everybody's going to send them in, right? And they're going to get one that guarantees to not catch fire. I mean, you go ahead and tell me if NVIDIA is like, hey, we're going to recall our 5090 and produce 5090s that don't catch on fire. Are you just going to leave the 5090 that you currently have in your computer? Or are you going to take that free 5090 that NVIDIA gives you that doesn't catch on fire even if you have to send your 5090 in and you don't get a second 5090. I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess that you would probably take the 5090 that isn't going to catch your like $400,000 house on fire. But I mean, maybe I'm just a genius that would just randomly send his 5090 in for one that does not catch on fire. This right here, Samsung has announced the world's first 500 
hertz OLED monitor, but it's new, but it's the new 5K 2K panel that's got my wallet twitching. That's crazy, bro. Like, I'm not even going to say it because let's be really honest here. Back in my day, quote unquote, 60 frames per second was quoted as the human eye can only see 60 frames per second as if looking at 144 hertz right in front of you just clearly does not make a difference. Genius. Have you ever like, just just move your mouse. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead in your display setting and be like 60 hertz. Then enable it to 40 hertz and you're going to be like, oh, my, hey, look, my mouse is actually seeable when I move it. Nice. Oh, hey, look, my mouse is only a mouse. Look at it. You see it? See the mouse right there? It's it's a mouse. All right, ready for this? So this is 240 hertz. You ready for me to go over to 120? You see the mouse? How there's like... 70 of them. Look at them. See 70 mouses over there? I know. I see all 70 of them as well already. One mouse. 70 mouses. One mouse. 70. So, yeah. Not going to say anything about 500 hertz. I, I mean, I'm just going to be really brutally honest here. If you tell me that you can see a difference between 480 hertz and 500 hertz, you, my friend, are full of crap. <laughs> so either way this is sick man oled monitors they really do make a massive difference like it's they the blacks on that like people don't understand like have you ever like i have like one of my rooms in my in my place is like blacked out it's like a full-blown movie theater like everything is black and then i have my big big 85 inch tv like right there <laughs> and uh like that, that immersive experience or even like just standing right here. Like if I turned this monitor off and that monitor off and then I just looked right at this monitor with the black uh, background, like that immersive experience. It's just it's very cool to uh, to play games, watch movies, watch shows, watch YouTube like that. Um, and just so we're clear, dude, like people don't realize that. How do I do? How am I going to be able to do this? Um, can I do it with this? No, that's not the right one. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to mess this up. So I don't, okay. USB streaming. Where's my stability? Is this the stability? I'm not going to mess with my camera because I'll, I'll mess it up and I've done that before. But either way, let's go ahead and move on here. AMD Radeon AI Pro 9700 missing action as OEM launch stalls. So this is an AI graphics card, dude. But the reason I'm sharing this is because look at that. What? One, two, three, four. Four graphics cards and one PC. I just, <laughs> it's crazy that we don't have. Do you remember how like. Do you remember how I don't I don't know how to I don't know how to explain this, but do you remember like how fun like building computers used to be? That's the only way that I can think to explain it. Like how fun they used to be. It's like people used to like build like these crazy like like custom computers. But now it's just they're all like computers. If that does that make any sense to you at all? Like or like another good example of this is like video games. Like the pussification of video games. Like how, really? You can give me an ad. Uh, like the pussification of video games. Like they're just, they're all like, they're all like feministic now. <laughs> and you can go ahead and hate on me for, for saying that all you want, bro. But look, if we, if we, no, and I don't want to be disrespectful, but I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there. The people that aren't over here floating on a rainbow, okay? They don't want, like, the 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 rainbow ship shoved in our face. Like, we just want to enjoy whatever we're, we're either playing or watching. Like, we don't need this crap, like, shoved in our face. Like, we don't care what you do behind your own doors. Nobody gives a crap. But when it's, like, tossed at us and we see all these lawsuits and crap, dude, like, that's why people get irritated with that stuff. However, this right here, the Intel i9 or Ultra 9, man, I'm still saying i9. Oh my goodness, imagine if they go back to i9, that would be pretty sick. So Intel's next-gen Ultra 9, 385K, performance leaks, 
and it's going to be up to 10% faster than the 285K in, 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 in NVIDIA games. Intel's upcoming Core Ultra 300 series, Arrow Lake refresh, CPUs are going to be higher clock speed up to 6 gigahertz, boosting gaming performance by 5 to 10%. And then they're also going to overheat just like the 14900K, 14700K, 13900K, 13700K, 12900K, and 12700K, while faster than the current Zen 5 chips. If you were just listening to me as, as, uh, as I read that, the, the part where it's also going to like overheat to 7,000 degrees Celsius, that was me joking, by the way. And then it is not going to surpass AMD's Zen 5 Plus X3D processors that are like getting double the X3D, if that even is how it's actually going to work. <laughs> but they're getting like... They're getting like X3D, X3D chips. AMD is going to be like releasing like better X3D of whatever. And then the next generation of Intel CPUs, they're also going to be doing some sort of an X3D type of thing. And that is actually going to perform extremely well. It's supposed to be a little bit, I'm not going to say better than 9800X3D because let's be real. Anybody that says it's going to be better than the 9800X3D is, is just like chasing Hype, I guess, is the only way I can think to explain it. This right here, Asus is launch Asus is Asus launches Radeon RX 9060 XT and the GeForce RTX 5060 Dual White Edition. So this is just cool to see that to see AMD. Man, why do I have such like gibberish mouth today, bro? Like I can't speak properly. Like for real, like jokes aside, I don't know why I keep talking awkward. So regardless, I'm just, it's nice that AMD is actually creating a, a good GPU, you know, or Asus actually, let's be real, this is Asus. And just so we're clear, well, it's just, it's just a freaking, it's just white. Look, dude, have you ever stuck a black graphics card in a white PC? That's what she said. You know, <laughs> I had to do it, bro. I had, <laughs> I had to do it, dude. <laughs> and, so, but jokes aside, have you, ever, <laughs> have you ever stuck a white GPU in a black <laughs> or a black? <laughs> to, either both of them are funny. You can you can both say that's what she said to both of those. But uh, have you ever, seriously, have you ever put a black GPU in a white PC? It doesn't look very good. Let's go ahead and move on because I'm not going to stop laughing if I don't. Intel shows, <laughs> Intel shows the Edge 18A process is ready for, for non-X86 SOCs and a live demo aiming at attract fabulous customers like Apple that rely on ARM. So this is just, this is... So this is like a, I'm guessing that this is something that Intel is like trying to do to like undig themselves out of the grave that they seem to have <laughs> to see that they, to, uh, do I, I got to chill, relax, <laughs> to, to dig themselves out of the grave. This is a, this is like one of the mobile chips. All right, let's go ahead and chill out here. Take a deep breath, brother. <laughs> All right. So now that we're back on track here, this is just cool to see them actually getting into the... There's no way that I'm going to have three brain farts in one single video. You've got to be kidding me. Arm. What is the name of the freaking... I really do. And I think it's because they're freaking working on air conditioners outside. And I can hear the rumbling and it's irritating me. ARM CPU, what is it? I'm going to go ahead and move on. It's freaking laptop and phone mobile CPU. Let's go here. Valve Pulse Steam Beta Update that calculated GPU usage better than Task Manager. I just think that that's crazy. Like, dude, Steam is such a... It's such a, like... A PC gamer place. The but the problem is you and me both know that as soon as my brain is like not working without caffeine right now and it's literally pissing me off. I like I don't know about you, dude, but as far as I'm concerned, if I wake up and I don't have coffee, 
my brain does not function. Gabe, right? That's the Valve guy's name. As soon as he leaves, whoever the owner of Steam is, as soon as he leaves, like the, the platform's probably going to go to junk. And you know, you know it, I know it, everybody here knows it. So former PlayStation CEO comments on $80 games compared to PS1 era. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one here. And then I'm also going to talk about the, the multiple new Halo games that just barely leaked. So I'm going to, I'm going to combine both of these. All right. As I talk about this and I'm going to, this is a pretty long article. So if you're just listening to me, let me see if I can uh, zoom in more without it getting all miscombobulated so that you can actually read it. So this right here, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. If you can't see that, I'm sorry, bro, but I don't know what to tell you. All right. I got I have to have gameplay here as I speak or else everybody's going to dip. All right. So $80 games. Listen, I don't think anybody, ha at least for me, dude, I don't have an issue with $80 games. I think that at least for me, I'm just talking from my personal opinion here. $80 games are not an issue. Broken $80 games with microtransactions and 7 million DLCs that we're going to have to buy after we buy the $80 game is why people have an issue with it, okay? Back in my day, quote unquote, in the, let's be honest, dude, the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, right? Like DLC didn't start becoming a, th a thing until like the PS3 era. So... So we had the the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, like the PlayStation, the PlayStation 2, the game, like all these consoles, dude, like when a game released, it either sucked or it was good. Okay. We didn't have a game that we could not refund, plus had to buy a bunch of microtransactions on top of all of that, a DLC as well, so that we can actually enjoy the game that we're playing. That is why people have an issue with $80 games because one, we can't refund at least if you're on console, all right? If you're just playing on PC then and you're buying your games from Steam at least, then you're not going to have an issue returning the games. And I think that this is a big reason that people like Steam so much is like if you play a game, I'm pretty sure it's two hours and and if, if, if you play the game less than two hours and don't like it, you just you just contact Steam and they don't even question it. They literally just give you your money back. However, if you play, if you even launch the freaking video game on a PlayStation, nope, yeah, you're just you already bought it. GG, bro. Waste your money. Plus, you got to pay to play this video game online. Plus, you're gonna have to buy the DLC. Plus, you're gonna have to download probably like 13 updates before the game is even playable. You know what I mean? I think that that's why people have an issue with games being $80. But you go ahead and let me know. Because listen, man, if if we took 1990, put it right here, and games currently cost 100 bucks, but the games were the way they used to be, then I don't, I, at least for me, man, I would not have an issue doing that. I Like if games cost 100 bucks, I would not care if they were either broken and could not get updates or they were good and could not get updates. The game just was. If the game just was as it is and wasn't going to get seven DLCs, 40 updates, and have a ton of microtransactions, I would not have an issue paying 100 bucks. So, you know, it's, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff down in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Check out one of these videos. Peace. Bruh.